right everybody? Uh, I'm filming this because it's quite uh, an exciting moment for me. Uh, obviously many of you know about the few products that I do. Uh, yeah they don't necessarily make pigeons win but they're all part of a jigsaw. The products that I've used uh, in every fed I've ever raced in with my brother and on my own. We've always done well. I've moved to Barnsley exceptionally well just racing young birds, sending an average of 14 pigeons, topping both feds, as many as 4,000 pigeons. Uh, the other loft I'm involved with, uh, Lee Booth, who now races as Booth and Gibson, uh, along with my brother. Uh, phenomenal for the last few years, nobody can uh, say anything against that. He's flown at side at M1. Last, this year he flew with young birds, uh, to a location which is more easterly. Same results, six together, first fed, first six in fed, if they did a fed result. Uh, a lot of people have had me fat mix, they've done very well with it. Uh, if you fly Derby Burton fed, Andy Jackson, small number of pigeons, tops the fed on a regular basis. Uh, NL Painter, uh, Lee Painter likes to use it when he's breeding because of the fat content. Uh, the oil content for the feathers at Youngsters. Uh, I use it all year round, the fat mix. Uh, but I used to mix it, mix, it, mix it up sorry, in small bags, like this. Uh, and I used to blend it in a blender, uh, the food processing machine. And then I used to blend peanuts from Morrison's into it. And it was a, a sticky because of the oil uh, fat mix that they digested very quick. However, a ten pound a bag, uh, twelve fifty a bag. At some points, because of the price has changed, it was very expensive. So, I've approached BJ Farms, uh, BJF. Uh, I know Dave up there. I've spoke about producing it in twenty kilo bags. Uh, obviously, not blended because of the storage aspect. Also, no peanuts again because of the storage aspect. Uh, it's got lots of different fatty seeds in it. Obviously, fatty energy mixes are more expensive because of what what's in them. Uh, that's common sense. So, after a few weeks of speaking with Dave and negotiating various things, this is my first bag. It is in a plain red bag. Uh, the label on the bottle on the bottom just says MPH fat. That's it, as well as the food hygiene registered number uh, for BJs. Uh, so I'm going to open it up. Let's have a look. And it is exactly how I made it up myself with the straights that I used to buy. I'm very, very pleased with that. That is a, a really good fat mix. I'm over the moon with that. Uh, as I say, the main ingredient is sunflower hearts. Uh, it's got others in it. So it is now available in 20 kilos. Uh, if I were to sell this in 4 kilos, the price I was selling that, it would be an absolute fortune. Uh, but obviously this is not blended. I'm not in the garage for hours on end doing it in small amounts. So it's a good price from BJ's, uh, it's available if you're not in local area, ask your local stockist to contact BJ's about it. Uh, it has been usually success for a, a number of years and now it's available, uh, MPH fat. It really is a really, really good, really, really good fat mix full of sunflower hearts and, uh, and all the other fatty seeds. I use it malting, they get an handful with a mix every day, they are doing now, because uh, of the oil content as well. Clean underneath constantly when racing uh, and if you've watched me chat with Brian Smith from r and Smith, they use a lot of fat uh, because it's easier to get condition on the pigeons. Uh, some people don't agree, others do, 
uh, that's how we are, that's society, but uh, a lot of top fanciers have used it and are still using it. So yeah, PJ Farms, just asked for MPH fat, uh, 20 kilo bag. Uh, and for 20 kilos it's a lot cheaper than people were buying that off me. Uh, as I say, I were driving around buying straights with that. Mixed and bagged by BJ's, MPH fat. A lot of people are using it, it's great stuff. So, thank you.